Welcome to the Maintenance and Rehabilitation Schedule tutorial from PavementLCA.com. We're going to continue from the previous video where we created our roadways. And you'll see here in the dashboard I've got them in my projects. I'm going to hit my projects on the left pane. And here we are, our projects. I'm going to open up the HMA tutorial by hitting the edit button on the left. And this is our project information. Our project roadway here is created and already created and hit the edit button there. And you'll see this is the roadway we created in the previous tutorial. So we're going to do the rehabilitation schedule now. I click on the tab at the top and you'll see here we have an add rehabilitation button. I click that and this form opens up. And we go through with filling it out. We need to put the year after initial construction. So let's say we're going to do a road and seal operation at 10 years and say it's a custom special life plan of 10 years. And we're going to call it asphalt road and seal. And the cost um, we can put in here if we want. It's uh, not used anywhere, it's for information only. We want to in the future, add uh, life cycle costing export capabilities. So we want to export those values, but for now, it uh, doesn't do anything for us. Describe it as a road and seal. Um, we're, we've got the buttons up here called the uh, affected road element, the paved shoulders and the paved lanes. Um, we don't have any paved shoulders in this roadway, but uh, we're going to so we click uh, paved lanes. And you'll see down here in the summary, it says we've got a one kilometer length, we've got zero width of paved shoulders, and we've got eight meters of paved lanes. And the surface area of the lanes is eight meters, 8,000 meters squared because it's 1,000 meters times eight meters wide. So the affected road element, so this is an important box here. Now we're doing road and seal and typically um, a road and seal would say X amount of meters routed and sealed. So we need to produce, we need to tell the program how much that is. So is instead of a percent surface area, we're gonna go by percentage length. And the percentage length is based on this length of one kilometer, so 1,000 meters. So let's say the rehab schedule says we need to do 150 meters of road and sealing, of routing and sealing of the road. Well, we need to get this quantity here to be 150. So to get that to 150 of, of 1,000 meters down here, that's 15%. If, for example, you wanted um, 1,000 meters of routing and sealing, well, then you'd have to put in 200% here. Maybe it doesn't really make sense, but that gives you your 2,000 meters here um, for your total height. So we're going to stick with 15% there. That's 150 meters of routed ceiling. And we're going to go down here. And you'll see here we've got a bunch of options for routed ceiling. You can skip all of these material, uh, all of these activities by clicking here. But I want to include them all. So none of these are skipped. I'm going to click material is added for sealant material installation. We want to choose a material type. And then we've got sealants down here and we're going to fill it with rubberized asphalt sealants. Now the thickness here is the thickness of the crack itself. So let's say it's 15 millimeters. I'm going to put in 15 millimeters here. Now the width here is the pocket with the width of the road. And this would be correct if we were doing by percentage surface area, but we're doing by percent, percentage length. So we have to put in the width of the crack that we've cut or that we're filling with the sealant here. And it's in meters, so we have to, so let's say it's also 15 millimeters, 0 0.015 meters. A little bit of a Thing there that you have to know about, but we're going to click out of there. So this kind of volume of the asphalt ceiling that we're going to be putting in, we're going to 
skip the crack cleaning and drumming here, and I'm going to do the crack cutting. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to say for now, material is removed. And that way I can select the material here. And it's match fault pavement HMA. And you know from my previous tutorial that it was Ontario Super Pave 12.5. And we'll again do the size of the crack that we're cutting. Now, I'm going to go back here. By clicking material is removed, it knows program will assume that you are collecting this material and you are trucking it off site to be recycled or to be disposed of. If I don't click the material is removed and I leave those blank, then we're going to do the operation, but we're not going to actually remove the material, which is probably pretty typical of cutting cracks on an existing roadway. You're, you know, you let the the dust blow away in the wind or whatever. So I'm going to not click material removed, and this accounts for the volume, but it um, it just means we're cutting the cracks and that's it. So I created my first act, uh, rehab activity. I'm going to add that. You'll see it shows up here in the list. I add another one for a typical schedule. Let's say at 10 years, we're also doing um, spot repairs. So I'm going to call it partial depth reclamation. And now we're talking about the surface area of the road instead of the length. So again, paved lanes, and let's say it's about 2% of the road. That means it's 150 square meters. That's gonna be spot repair. And I go down here. Now I've got a whole bunch of different um, steps here that I can do, but I'm probably gonna do a couple. So I'm gonna hit the skip all button here. And what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to remove Asphalt, uh, middle asphalt pavement, and then we're going to have to pave it in what? Pave it with the replacement asphalt. So we're going to choose those two activities. I'm going to say materials added. I'm going to asphalt pavement again. I'm going to Ontario Super Pave. And let's say we're taking off 40 millimeters of roadway. You'll see here the width is. Um, Great out, you can't, uh, you can't edit that. We're working on a basis of 160 square meters of roadway, 40 millimeters thick, that's 6.4 meters cubed. But we also have to fill up the asphalt, uh, the mill asphalt pavement, and let's assume now that we are going to remove the material for recycling. So I'm going to click the negative sign here, same type of material. Super pave, four millimeters thick. There we go. Add that. Keep going. We'll add a new activity, and let's say at 20 years, we're going to do a complete mill and resurface of the pavement, and it's going to last 15 years, let's say. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this in two steps. Um, we're going to do going to call this a partial depth. Reclamation for asphalt um, is going to be 100% of the roadway. So we have 8,000 meters squared here. And we're going to, um, I'm calling this a mill um, step. So I'm just going to click on the one. I've skipped all. I'm going to click on the one activity out here, mill asphalt pavement. I'm going to remove the material. Asphalt. Material super pave, and we're going to say it's 40 millimeters thick again. There we go. We add that. We got that. I'm going to add a new rehab activity. At the same year, 20 years, last 15. 
public cash flow paving. Again, 100%, 2,000 square meters. Here are a, a few different uh, set of activities that are available for this. This is determined by the activity type up here. I'm going to skip them all again, and I'm going to choose unskip, essentially, the actual asphalt paving HMA and the tack road application. So we are adding material. It could be asphalt pavement, cherry pump pave, quarter millimeter thick. And then we're going to add our tack coat as well. Down here with binders, I think it is. There we have it. Supply of asphalt tack coat. And uh, let's say it's a one millimeter thick tack coat. Six meters of volume with a gap. So there we have the first two steps in our rehabilitation schedule. Now you're going down to 50 years of the road, let's say, and you're probably going to repeat these along the way. So the easiest way is to duplicate the current activity. So for, let's say if we want to repeat all these steps again, I'm going to duplicate the asphalt part of the seal. You'll see here it was set at year 10 with an expected lifespan of 10 years. So it's automatically going to populate at 20 years with an expected lifespan of 10 years. But let's say we're doing it at year 30, 10 years after this last paving. So I'm going to click the end button on the left, change that to 30, and let's say instead of 150 meters, we're doing 300 meters, but we want to do 30%. Everything down here is the same, same with the crack, same asphalt seal we're putting back on, same changes. Same with the next step, which was our spot repairs. We're going to do that, duplicate it, it ends up down here, edit that one, change that to 30 years, and let's say it's 5% instead of percent then it's the same activity. So if we say change this here, get that here. I'm going to duplicate this 20 year one at year 35. So click on that, it's already populated for 35. We click edit here. Now before we did these in two steps, we did the milling down here and the asphalt pavement in another one. But let's say we could if we wanted to. Um, do both of them in this step. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this, showing it to show both ways of doing it. I'm going to unclick asphalt pavement and click HMA. So we're going to add material, pavement, cherry picking pave, and 40 millimeters thick. So you see here we've got we milled the asphalt. We said we are replacing the asphalt, and we're going to probably put on a tack coat as well. Binders, tack coat, one millimeter thick, and I'm going to save that. So you see this one step at year 35 is equivalent to these two steps at year 20. Um, either way is fine. I'm just doing both to show as an example. Let's say that's the end of our rehab schedule. I'm going to click Update Roadway, and there we have it. Just to show the example for our concrete road, I'm going to go back to my projects, click Open, edit the tutorial PCC road that we did in the first tutorial. I'm going to go to the project roadways, open that roadway, hit the rehab schedule again, Blank. We're going to add a rehab schedule, and let's say it's we're doing a modulus simplified one here, so at year 25 for a lifetime of 15 years, we're going to do a concrete partial depth repair. No, let's change that to a concrete full depth repair. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're adding these are costs, and we're going to do it on, let's say, 5% of the surface.
of our survey of the So I'm looking at the auto manager plan and our default activity types down here. I'm going to skip them all. And I'm going to unskip concrete pavement and then remove concrete pavement. I'm sorry, concrete paving. We're going to add a material, Ontario PCC. And let's say that full depth, well, the, the road bed, the road slab was 200 millimeters thick, so the full depth repair is going to be 200 millimeters. And we have to remove the concrete first. So I'm going to say material is removed. Same thing, concrete pavement, material PCC. And it's going to be 100 millimeters. Click add. We've added a step. And let's say after we've done that full depth repair, we're going to texturize the road as well and add a new rehab activity at year 25, 16, select activity type, generate concrete texturization. 100% of the road is going to get diamond grind. see here, concrete texture only has one activity type, so I'll leave it unskip. I'm not going to, I'm going to say, but I'm going to remove the material. Ontario PCC, and let's say it's supposed to be 15 millimeter texturization, grinding. But, uh, whether it's your practice or not, I'm going to unclick these this box, I should have clicked from, pardon me, remove button, but I'm going to unclick it now. And what that means is we're going to perform this task to these dimensions, but we're not going to actually truck the material away. So I'm going to leave that minus button unclicked. Click OK, and there we have it again. There's our step at year 25, and then to duplicate it, you can do the same thing, full depth repair at year 40 and 15, but let's say it's 10%. And we're going to duplicate the texturization at year 40 as well. And it's 100%, so we can leave it as is. I'm going to open it, but it's going to stay the same. And that's the easiest way to show different steps, or the same step, over different years. I'm going to update the road weight. Let's save the road weight. That will be available for our next tutorial.